Today, I'm going to show you how to win more gulags so you can stop being an extra $3,000 for your teammates to always have to buy you back. And the way I'm going to do that is by breaking down a bunch of clips that I have saved from my actual live stream where I'm probably talking through a lot of them. So we might have to actually listen to what I'm saying. But you can see right here, if I take off my face cam, it is just a clip of me playing. So that's why you're going to see the controller behind it and all that stuff. I cannot remove that from these clips. But regardless, I'm going to be talking over these gameplays, breaking down what the gulags look like, what you should do, and just information that can and help you get more wins so you can start winning those 1v1 gunfights. And with that being said, let's get into this first one right here. We're going to let this one play out. We're going to have the volume a little bit low and we're going to see exactly what we're working with. So we have a seven second countdown and immediately you can see that we have the MTZ556 in your hand. So first tip I'm going to show you is know what weapons you are actually using and how good they actually are. This is even a good tip for ground loot before you get your loadout. But as you can see, the main weapons that you're going to get in the Gulag as your primaries are going to be the Striker 9, the Ram 7, and the MTZ. And the Gulag is probably anything within 10 to 20 meter fights at absolute most. And you can see which weapons are the best when it comes to time to kill. You're always going to have the same weapon as your opponent, but I've seen a lot of people make mistakes of switching to their secondary that they have. That's actually probably not better than their primary weapon. So you can see at 10 meters right here, you have the Striker 9, the Ram 7, and the MTZ 556. So the Striker 9 is really good up to 10 meters. But then after that, the Ram 7 is really, really, really good up close. And it holds the range all the way throughout. So if you are ever in the Gulag and you have a Ram 7, just know that is the best gun that you could probably use. Going into this, we're going to have this first Gulag here. We have the MTZ 556. And it's going to be the core 45 pistol so now immediately pause it and you can see that the core 45 pistol is actually a very fast killing gun if it has the right trigger attachment and either way you're still going to have to hit your shots if you do miss a bullet that slows the time to kill down by a lot so if you don't trust yourself to hit the shots with those i would recommend using that pistol if you have him one shot not to actually start off with it and you would be surprised how many people i've seen in the gulag think they're on to something when they switch to their secondary when they probably should not have so backing it up to this first gulag again you can see that we have the variation of the gulag of the double boxes and the single box and Every time you get this gulag, no matter what weapons in your hands, you should probably always go to this double box and head glitch it. And the reason why is this. As you can see, once you get to this double box, I have this entire left side of the map cut off. So if he does challenge me, he's probably going to challenge me from the open right there. And I know you can't see it, but when you do watch this video and actually go play a gulag, you'll know exactly what I mean. I play on 120 FOV. But right here on the right side where my mouse is, that is a doorway opening to the right side cross. And he has to run through that water so you can also hear it. So right now I have the entire gulag cut where I can't get either flanked on my right side or pushed in front of me without me having the exact perfect amount of cover to shoot with the people in front of me. And then of course have my right side flanked. So you can see here, I immediately slide to this in this variation of the gulag. Then I see the right side cross. You can see that I'm kind of just like breaking it down. And the more I break down the map, the more I'm able to just kind of know exactly where he's going to be. So I had a left side cut. I didn't see him left side. That means he's probably on the right. He didn't cross that right side doorway. So I immediately cut the map down to where he's probably either on this middle head glitch or back right here, just probably not playing or playing really slow. That is a big thing when it comes to gulags and 1v1s in Call of Duty. You do not want to get caught off guard and cutting the map in the gulag and giving yourself the information is really, really important to know where the opponent actually is coming from. Now, moving on to the next gulag, you are going to see that we have the same variation again. I'm going to go through a couple of these scenarios for each one so you guys can get really familiar with what I'm talking about. And this time, instead of going to the double box of probably what I should do, I'm going to go over to the left single box to show you what it looks like and to show you how much of a different angle actually looks like. So we're going to let this one play out and notice that I have the Ram 7 in my hands, which is one of the strongest guns in the game. And if you pause it right here, I cannot see if someone crosses to my right now. If he goes through the back right, I can obviously hear that. And then walking through this water is going to kind of make your movement a little bit sluggish and slow. So I can't even really push up the left side. So right now, if I'm playing this, I'm just hoping that this guy runs in front of me and just runs out into the open to give me a free kill. But if it doesn't happen that way, it's going to be a little bit of a weird gulag because even though I know he's not over here and I am still cutting the map and giving myself information, I don't know exactly what he's doing over here. And again, he has the map cut if he's in the spot that I was telling you guys about. So let this one play out for now i have the ram 7 he ends up just jumping at me and i get really lucky and if you pause it right there if that's you on the other side of the gulag where you just don't know what you're doing or you're complaining about a guy camping or whatever it is and you're losing your gulags consistently again that guy did not cut the map properly he didn't really have an idea where i was because i wasn't running around so he was probably trying to rely off audio i didn't have any audio for him to hear and he kind of just lost full and challenged out that is the last thing you want to do unless you are really confident of where that guy's going to be again we have another similar variation of the single and the double box one and now i'm going to show you another tip to kind of improve this double box just a little bit more the double box strat is the best strategy you can ever have you're gonna see me go over here to the left 
And instead of just aiming down where you can actually see that laser, so if he was back here or over here, he actually could see my laser kind of aiming down, which then he can kind of obviously get an idea of where I'm going to be at. I'm going to aim at the corner of this box over here so I can get ready to either snap to my right or snap to my left. I still have cover. So I'm very confident that even if he does actually try and peek me and predict where I am, I'm still going to have the cover to get this kill. So I'm going to be staring at this box. I see him cross and now I'm going to able to, you know, do this where this guy kind of runs at me. All of that aggression from that guy, all I saw was him cross. I knew exactly where he was going to be at. I predicted the right side. I was wrong, but even though he slides to my left, I still have cover to use movement and my movement tips that I've done in other videos to get that kill. And before showing you this next gulag, a big thing for these gulags too is obviously you have to win your gunfights and have good movement because that's always going to help you. I have plenty of aiming videos and movement videos and we have a new movement guide actually coming out pretty soon. So make sure you check out the rest of my videos on the channel if you want to keep getting better at Call of Duty. And of course, if you're in enjoying this content make sure you guys drop a like but going into this next one we have the mtz again this is going to be a different variation where you can see that i call this the server one with the server on the side right here and when this plays out you're going to see exactly what this looks like so you notice i go towards the right side here and the reason why is if you back it up and you see the server side here there is a head glitch that I'm about to slide to right here, and there is no head glitch on the left side. So again, you want to make sure you're always using that cover and then cutting the map, right? So you're going to see here that I get the server kind of gulag. That means immediately I know exactly where I'm going to go. By memorizing these kind of starts and really starting to kind of keep it conscious of like, oh, this is the gulag that I got. I'm going to have my strategy to go to. The consistent kind of practice, you'll get better and better at these situations, or you might just want to change it up a little bit so you can obviously have your own kind of flow to the gulag. As this plays out, I slide cancel to the right. I shoulder the right. I don't see him on that side. Now I'm kind of sliding to the left and now I'm using my audio there to kind of cut the map again. So if you back it up one more time and you put this a little bit louder so you can actually hear it. Sometimes I'm just talking the clip so I want to keep it a little bit low. And a big thing here is I slide here. I don't see him over there. And now if he were to have sprinted to the same head glitch as I did at the same time, since it's kind of symmetrical of where you're standing, we would have gotten to that at the same time. So I'm assuming this is a pretty good player. And since I think it's a pretty good player, if he's not there, most likely he did not break off to the right side. So after that shoulder, I'm going to see that. I don't see him. I hear him in the middle right here or just like on like the middle area. He's not walking through water. So I know he is not on my far left side, but he can either now be back left or back middle off of some footsteps that I hear. So I shoulder the left and now I know he's not back right. He's not back left. Either he's playing it very, very slow, which is just going back and forth in the back of his base, and I'm just getting bad timing, or he is actually pushed into the middle to play, obviously, the fight as I'm cutting down the map and getting myself information. So if you let this play out again, I don't see anything here. I slide here, and now the reason why I slide to the left and I started looking a little bit more right, if I don't see him on the left side, I didn't see him on the right side, I'm assuming he either hit middle or he's playing very slow, so I slide out here and I look to my right. The only thing that he could have done to counter me is obviously play a little bit slower and play on this left side and really kind of only hard play one angle, but if I go far left, I can kill him, and that would be a really, really reckless challenge. So I slide this way, I use my movement, and we're able to have that straight-on gunfight. And once again, I was a lot more confident on that slide because I cut the right side of the map. I cut the left side of the map. And then I had footsteps in front of me that I was able to hear where I kind of knew exactly where he was going to be at after that. So give yourself the information, know the weapons that you're using, and that will help you tremendously going into these gulags. And now let's show you some other tips and tricks too. Again, here you are going to see a server side variation of the gulag. I'm going to break off to the right. We're going to do some shoulder. I'm going to snake it. I don't see him. And then right there, as I'm cutting the map again, you can see his laser. You can actually see him shoot at me. And immediately, I now know where my enemy is. And it becomes a gunfight of movement and aiming tips that are going to help you, obviously, just not get caught off guard like I have been saying this entire video. So always cut the map. Always know what you're doing. And then if we back it up and let this one play out, you're going to see how this kind of goes out. So I see him to my left. We're going back and forth now. I'm doing a little jump spot to see if I can spot him. Right here, I see that I have a C4. That's my next tip that I'm about to talk about. And again, every single time that I just fought that guy, he was in front of me. He did not catch me off guard. And again, you can use your audio cues and just cutting the map to kind of know exactly where he's coming from. And my next tip that I was going to talk about is what you're about to see here. I have smoke grenades and for my lethals, I had C4s. Every single time you spawn in, it's going to take a second or two for your tacticals to actually show up. But you should always look at the bottom right to see what you are working with. And I'm working with a smoke grenade and now a thermite grenade in there. And sometimes you're going to get a flash or a stun or something of that sort that you can really use to obviously give yourself a really easy win. Or you can use smoke grenades to make it random if you're not 
the most confident player, which we're about to talk about in a second, but always know what you are using and as a lethal and a tactical. I've seen so many people have the chance to stun or flash me, and they actually don't because they forget they even have tacticals in the gulag because they're so locked into like where the guy is coming from that you want to get a little bit more confident when you're obviously playing in these gulags and actually just kind of know what you're working with before you actually kind of take your strategy of what you want to do. And backing it up, this is another variation of the server side, but instead, if you don't like shouldering in the right and cutting the map, you don't feel that confident in your movement, this is another strategy that you can do when you're playing this gulag to kind of see what it looks like. So this is what it's going to be looking like if I run up the middle of the map. If you pause it right here, I can run up the middle. And if he does peek my left side here, he doesn't have that much cover. So it's not a bad play to kind of go up the middle and to the left and then hold this challenge. If you're confident, obviously, that you're going to be able to snap and shoot on this guy, or you can actually center that left side. And then after you go up the middle and to the left, if I don't see him here, what have I been saying this entire video? You want to cut the map. I don't see him on the left side. He's either going to be middle or he's going to that head glitch that we were kind of just talking about before, which would be a good play out of him. So let this one play out now. I'm going to be aiming at that wall so I don't give up the laser. I'm going to go back to my head glitch. I don't see him. Now I'm kind of wondering where this guy's at. I still can't find him. And right there, he's in the back of his base playing really, really slow. And that was very, very obvious. Once I cut down the left, I cut down the middle, I cut down the right. Where is this guy? He's got to be either playing really slow in his base or just not playing at all. And that's why I'm able to kind of move confidently towards his base, knowing he's going to be around that area as I slide towards him. And now this next gulag is an important one. So if you are not the most confident player and you just don't feel like you have a good chance of winning it, maybe you're just losing all your gunfights that day, or you actually just recognize the name that you're playing against and you're like, I might not have a chance of killing this guy. If you don't want to take a straight up fight, especially controller players, all you mouse and key players, right now watching this you're probably gonna love this tip use your smoke grenades make them lose aim assist make the controller player lose aim assist so it is more random because if you take a better player than you and he's gonna have to obviously deal with no aim assist and randomness or you shoot him in the back he doesn't see you in through the smoke you hit fire through the smoke any randomness is gonna help you win if you are not the most skilled player and you're gonna see exactly how this guy plays this against me this is me talking about it as, as i'm obviously live right now right i'm gonna slide cancel this look right i don't see him i got this guy a little weak so now I have this guy, again, have this guy on his back foot. I have now more health than this guy as well. So if this guy has less health than me, even if he is a good player, he's probably not feeling confident that even if he chows me, I actually have more health to work with. He probably wants to try and make this random for even that reason too. I'm going to keep slide canceling this heady. So we're going back and forth. This guy's throwing smokes everywhere to make it random. And now this is where it just becomes crazy. I start throwing smokes back because now I don't know where this guy is. And you can see how insane this gulag looks. I'm kind of looking up to make sure he's not hitting the, the, the zip line. But either way, this entire gunfight is wild. All because of the fact that that guy threw so many smokes and that guy actually had more of a chance after I hit him with those initial bullets to actually kind of run away, regenerate health, and actually have another chance to catch me off guard through that smoke. It didn't work for him because I kind of did the same thing back, but not a bad strategy out of that guy and not a bad strategy that I would recommend to you guys if you do take damage and get away. Or again, if you don't take damage, you just want to make it random because you're just not feeling confident within the day. Now for another gulag to break it down, this is on the other side of that. You don't see the server. You're going to see this yellow piece over here. If you want to do the head glitch strat from the other side and you don't see the server and you see this, this is the same exact variation. Just on the other side, you want to go left here instead of right. And if you let this one play out, I'm going to do the same exact strategy. I'm going to look left. And also, if you notice right there, I get an easy kill just because he goes gunfight to gunfight, like, you know, head glitch to head glitch here. But as I pass it right here, there are some times where there is a stun or a flash grenade on the ground too. If you see a flash or a stun or a better grenade, like a Semtex or a frag grenade, always try and pick them up. Those are so good for the Gulag and you don't always spawn in with them. So again, that is just worth picking it up. Even if I don't know what tacticals I'm about to be using, which you can see right here, even if I had no information here, if this was a stun or a flash grenade, I am picking that up every single time because of the fact that I can actually flash my opponent where he can't see for a couple seconds. The Gulag's not a big map and you're able to run at him. But regardless there, I'm going to slide over to the left side we're going to challenge each other. He goes to the head glitch. I slide, cancel this. I center my aim and just recoil control kind of takes it away from there. Very easy kill and a very easy gulag win. Same exact thing. You want to either cut left or right here, depending on how you kind of like to play this. So that's what it looks like on the right side. One more time. If I pause it right here, there is no cover on this box. So even if he ran up here and looked to the left, this is a really hard gunfight for me if he was anticipating this. And if we kind of take this challenge on the right side, this is just who can hit better shots right away. I personally don't like playing gulags like this just because I feel like this is a very random gunfight no matter how good you are. So again, taking this fight is kind of really risky. You have no cover. You have no slide ability in front of you just because there's water in front of you. Water's really loud and there's only one part of water in the gulag. So the audio cue also gives you away. So I try to stay away from this. I'm just doing this to show you guys kind of what it looks like from this angle and i slide back left we cut the map i see him on my left side here 
I get back to my head glitch. And again, the information of him not being on the right, he's either middle or left. I slide to my head glitch on the left. He's wide peeking that head glitch for some reason. Not a good play. And it's going to be able to make me have an easy kill just from the head glitch that I was on. And now moving on to the third variation of the Gulag, we have the uh, half spiral. I don't even know what you want to call this, but regardless of this, I have the striker nine and the Lockwood shotgun. Now this Lockwood shotgun is good. Very, very good, but it's going to take two shots all the time. So the way you can use this Lockwood is by making them weak with your striker nine and then shouldering out to get the Lockwood finish. That is not a bad uh, strike strategy here at all. I wouldn't start off with a Lockwood just because unless you're going to really use your shoulder peaks, it's not the best considering even if you shoot one shotgun and he slides on you, he's probably going to kill you with the automatic striker, right? But regardless, this is a Lockwood and a striker nine. The striker nine is really good up close and he is also going to have a striker nine too. So you kind of know what you're working with. Lockwood, shotgun, striker nine. You hear me saying it so I know which uh, uh, guns I have. And this half spiral one's going to be a weird one. So here, you can see right there, I switched to my shotgun just because once I have him cracked and he's really, really weak, I'm able to hit that shotgun from pretty far away and get an easy kill, and you don't have to have the best aim with the shotgun. So if you do do the initial damage on this Striker 9-1, you definitely can switch to that shotgun to finish it off. But regardless of that, this half spiral, you're going to have the head glitch in the middle and head glitch in the middle. So as you can see, as I'm running up this way, you can either shoulder this if you don't see him here. There's two things. He's either middle or left side, and he's running up the middle, where if you slide up to this head glitch, you want to obviously slide to the right side of it so you can kind of angle yourself and still have some cover if he is sitting in the middle. And if he's obviously not sitting there, he might be doing the same thing that you're doing on the left side of the map. So you can see again, I don't see him on the right. I don't see him middle right now either. So if I don't see him here, I'm anticipating that he's either running up my left side, but if he is sprinting up that, I'm probably going to have those footsteps where I can kind of just know that he's doing that. Or again, that he's playing really slow in the back of his base. So I'm cutting the map back. I heard his footsteps in this particular clip that's kind of going back here. So I know I was able to obviously like kind of aim out the right side. Again, audio cues are really, really important in the Gulag since there's no dead silence. And that's why also playing on a PC is nice. I feel bad for the console players. I've played on console plenty on my streams and I understand that that's not the best. But we do have some settings for that in some short form videos. But regardless, I'm able to kind of cut the map and know exactly where he's coming from from the audio cues and just knowing exactly what's going to be going on. Next clip in this variation of the Gulag is the same thing. We have the double head glitches. So you're going to see I have the MTZ in my hands. I'm going to go left. Then I'm going to go middle. I don't see him on the left side. So now I'm going to slide up here and he's probably back right. I hear him on my right side. And then again, I cut the map. I use the audio cues. I can know exactly where he's at. He doesn't catch me off guard and it's an easy kill with a slide cancel. And for the next clip in this variation of the Gulag, you're going to see this the opposite side. This is a symmetrical Gulag. So there's, there is no special head glitch here at all where you go left or right. It doesn't really matter. You can kind of play this however you want or however you kind of prefer to cut the map with the audio cues and cutting the map. So I'm going to go left side here. I shoulder it. I don't see anything left. I look right. I do some initial damage. He throws some smokes. This is a good play out of him. I cooked this thermite grenade, and now this is the big part. I cooked the thermite grenade with all these random smokes because I'm hoping to get lucky by throwing a thermite grenade that he walks into again. Always try and use your lethals if you can. I don't really like C4s as much as I like frag grenades, sem uh, semtex grenades, or if you pick up a throwing knife. Those are actually really good in the gulag too if you're good with throwing knives. But either way, not going to connect with that thermite. I hear him on my right side. What? Try to get some random hit fires. And right here, if you pause this, you see that I back up and look up. A lot of people think that they can just escape this gulag by throwing a smoke and hitting the zip line. If you're anticipating this guy to go up the zip line, this is the easiest shot ever. So there are times where you can actually throw smokes and bait it as if like, you know, it's kind of getting crazy and just see if you can bait him into taking the zip line so you can get an easy kill like this. He thought he was out there, but he was not. And I can't tell you how many times I have killed somebody in that exact scenario where they're like, what the hell? How'd you know? Like common sense, guys, you, you're going up a zip line. You're not moving that fast. It's an easy shot. So very, very possible to kind of just throw some smokes there too and bait someone into hitting that zip line. If you're looking at it, it's a really easy kill. And last but not least, the last clip in the gulag, we have the, the half spiral kind of addition, the symmetrical one. And here we go. I shoulder the right. I don't see him. I see right there. I saw him kind of on the left side. He throws a smoke. I go to look at him on the left. I throw a smoke back. Right there, I tried to throw that flash grenade. This is a good gulag where we're kind of running around. I molly off the right. And if you notice, I molly off the right when I saw him go there. So if he runs to the right, he's going to be hurt. And if he does not run to the right, I can hit my slide cancel on the left side because I can guarantee it that he's either going to be hurt on the right side or running back into me into the left side. So I'm very confident on the slide to my left. And this guy has no idea what just hit him and it is the easiest gulag ever. So hopefully this uh, tips and tricks video helps you win some more gulags and it just kind of gives you an understanding of how to cut the map and obviously how to use your audio cues too. So now for people on console, again, if you don't have the super PC audio that some of the PC players have, you can still 
use the cutting the map and then if you hear audio you can kind of have a, a more of an understanding of where he's going to be especially on that water one if you cut the right side and he's not on the right side and you don't hear him moving around he has to run through that water which is the most obvious thing ever even if you don't have the best audio or the best headset so regardless hopefully these tips helped you if they did like comment subscribe and all that stuff and i will see you guys all in the next video peace out